Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to Anno 1800. Here today on the channel, we're going to be checking out some brand new campaign gameplay for Anno 1800. We're going to be playing through Chapter 1. So guys, first up, I've got to say a huge thank you to Ubisoft Australia for sending me an early access copy of the game and their community manager for helping me out. So Anno 1800 will be released officially to the worldwide public on the 27th of February 2019. If you would like to see more Anno videos from me, leave the video a like and let me know in the comments. I will play a sandbox if that's something you guys would like to see. So let's get stuck right into the official campaign chapter one. I will not talk through cutscenes and uh, I really want to talk about what Anno has to offer this time around. Talk about some of the new features and uh, we'll get stuck into some gameplay. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Okay, guys, how you doing? Welcome back. This game looks gorgeous. Look at the water. It's so beautiful. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. <laughs> Little cove in there. I love Remember that detail. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. Okay, I'm going to try and talk here and there, but I really want you guys to sort of take it in, enjoy the campaign gameplay. I'll try not to talk over the NPCs and whatnot. But we have some fish here. Looks like we're going to go dynamite fishing. So if you want me to do sort of more videos on the channel with 1800, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't know how well this video is going to be received. But uh, the guys over at Ubisoft Australia really did me a solid. Of distance on the throw. Okay, sure. We're going dynamite fishing. Yeah, I've never done any Anno videos on the channel. So if you want to see some sandbox gameplay, I'm more than happy to do so. It just depends on your guys' likes, comments, and general support. So, looks like we're going to try and go dynamite oh, fishing here. The fish <laughs> they could ever want. <laughs> oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? Nothing like telling the locals <laughs> when you go not telling them when you go on dynamite fishing. So, Anno eighteen hundred is going back to the historical roots of Anno rather than the futuristic. Anno this time around has an emphasis on trading, discovery, and expeditions while trying to build your city. It's a city builder at the end of the day. <laughs> Look at the water ripples as well. That's great. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon. And nobody wants you to miss it. So once we get to the city building stage of the video, the city building is based on three classes. You need to keep your farmers, your workers and your artisans happy. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family in the night. You're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I will break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door nor in the hard years that since have followed. Our father is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Arrested, stripped of his knighthood. We, I, am terribly shaken. 
and the vultures are already circling. Will you now stand by, knowing gentle father is in dungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Looks like death played the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old oh pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. So here we are, we have the start of our city building. A Tale of Two Brothers, Chapter what? One. Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? You can unload over there. Yeah, cheers, Uncle. <laughs> Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you are at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Okay, well let's get stuck into some gameplay. So Anno here, like I mentioned briefly before, 1800, they're going back to their historical roots, rather than futuristic. With an emphasis this time around on trading, discovery, and expedition. But at the end of the day, if you haven't played Anno before, it is a sitting builder simulator with uh, strategy game elements. Now, there are three classes in Anno which you need to keep happy. You have the farmers, you have the workers, and the artisans. This time around, they've also built uh, bridges. They've put it built, rather. They've put in the ability to build bridges and there's also rivers this time around it's animations as well in schools pubs and farmers and you can actually have your own museum and zoos which is really fascinating to see now i've got to say a huge shout out to all my german subscribers i'm sure you're watching this video anno is absolutely massive in germany so guten tag mein freunds <laughs> oh that's uh an australian trying to speak german Oh, classic. So, we're trying to get our farms down here, so I do apologise if it's not too sort of symmetrical as stuff. I haven't played Anno in such a long time, so I thought, why not, let's play the campaign, have some fun, and, and see what the story they have to offer. Spite? Oh, is this some futile attempt at competition? Competition, Uncle Edvard. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Oh, great. 
miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Sorry, okay, so we've got five uh, farms down here. Now we do have the ability further along to upgrade them to workers, building some paved roads to connect it all up as well. So there also is further when you advance down the line. I don't think we're going to get to it in this chapter, but you can have electricity, pollution, oil and such. We're slowly but surely building up our small little piece of paradise here on the island. And as you can see there, there's people and farmers hanging out at and their steads. And fell right on his... well... Fell right on his what? <laughs> his gizzard. <laughs> okay, we're slowly but surely waiting for... Uh, farmers, we need to attract some more farmers. We also need to build another resident as well. So Anno 1800, by the way, is developed Father by Blue Bike Studios. What are you saying? State. Okay, right. So let's and gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Spruce it up, okay. Well, uh, see what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had Traitor prison. dies in mystery prison. You're most welcome to pause and read some of the articles he as well. He twists every article in his favour at our and father's expense. So let's pick up this timber. Morning you to build is more houses now with that. we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labour for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Okay, so we need to feed our farmers now that we've built them residency. We need to build a fishery. Now, as I was trying to say before, Anno 1800 is developed by Blue Byte Studios, and Ubisoft is the publisher. So, I've got to say a thanks again to Ubisoft Australia for providing me with an early access copy of Anno and making this series of videos possible. Yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see anything sort of specific on Anno. It's not out to the 27th of February. And I've basically got a full copy of the game until then. So let me know any comments, suggestions, questions. And uh, I'll try and get back to you and try and uh, help you guys out as much as we can. Okay, so we're just going to finish off with these some roads on the far right. We might as well bring some more farmers in. Or allow us to uh, put them to work even quicker. <laughs> Okay, it's time to put the fishy and the chippy down to feed our townsfolk. So I'm playing on max graphic settings, by the way, as well, guys. I've got my PC specs, if you're curious, in the About page of my YouTube channel, if you're curious to see what I'm sort of running. But I'm playing on a, a higher-end system. Okay, where can I place this? We need to connect it to a road. We can't push it too far back, yeah. Just here will be fine. There's a little bit of space there, but I'm sure we can build something in there. So a ship is already going off fishing, which is fantastic. I love the contrast in the water as well. Okay, cool. Alright, so what do we need to do now? We need to continue with loyalty. We need 100 farmers. We only have 62 at the moment. Okay, let's expand some of these paved roads and get some more farms in, I say. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Sure. It was actually quicker to speed ahead than rather build more. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Sure. Let's build some lumber, a lumber's hut, and a sawmill. Sure. Why not? So, we need to build a lumberjack, there's a timer, and depending how far or close they are, gives us a radius of trees. So we want to try and get 100% lodging efficiency, I sort of guess, and we also want to try and reduce the time as best we can as well. So, probably somewhere around here is probably our best bet, and we'll connect up a road. And also a sawmill. I guess Timber, this side. Very good. 
I'll try not to think of the coffin. <laughs> Let's connect this up. I know people sort of get funny with what <laughs> you in, symmetrical stuff in this, so you guys are going to hate me, but we'll do as Who best I can. But like I said, it's been so long since I've played Anno. I prefer these older historical ones personally because it's not... Like, the futuristic ones are very good games, but it's all just about a reference point, you know? I'd rather focus on getting fish, sheep, and lumber. You know what I mean? <laughs> Building pubs and fire stations. So we're slowly but surely waiting for our lumberjack hut to be constructed. And then we can slowly continue on to build our glorious town in the edge of nowhere. So we can build a small warehouse adjacent once we Game get save. more wood. So we currently have 71 cash K in the bank. We're running out a bit of a deficit here. We're still making a decent yeah, amount of money. Well. Okay, well, let's continue on with our farmers. We need to put them to further work. So, we're going to build a sheep farm here and a knitters adjacent as well on the road. And we're going to have to build a farm. We are running low on timber, but there's plenty in the ruins. We should clear some to stock up. Okay, well, let's go further north then. It's been a long, hard day. The people oh, need to rest you'll get used to this and smell. maybe wet their whistle. Okay, right. So I'm running out of room here a little bit. So I need to expand this out for it to work right. So we need an adjacent field. Okay. I shouldn't have moved too far in that corner then. So we're building adjacent potato fields. <laughs> to allow us to wet our whistles and get the pub up and running. Oh, okay, I can actually drag and lock it. That's a lot easier than going one by one. <laughs> That's good. I'm happy with that. Seventy oh, 45 out of 72, so we need to continue to grow that. Right, let's push it further as far out as we can. Yeah, something like that would do. Going to eat all this. Excellent. 72 out of 72. And then we need our Schnapps Distillery. Uh, okay, so we need three fields here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to knock down some trees, which is a bit. Eldest, you outdo yourself. Oh, okay. That's all right. You live and learn. If I do play sandbox, I'll know for now. That we need more space for farms. <laughs> we can chuck him down here somewhere. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. To Toast to the future, and we need to clear some more timber as well. And we can place a pub down. I reckon we should have it close somewhere. Not close to the sea. <laughs> we don't want people to st take a bit of a tumble off the cliff. <laughs> Right, so, where can we put it here? Ditch water. Alright. Let's place the pub there. We probably uh, need to build a fire station here soon as well. Okay, we're going to need a fire station soon. Oh! Since the funeral. And the cast! Oh, why, it was extortionate! Repay me now, or sell up. I feel um, sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. Oh, we should have plenty of money anyway. Ready to repay my charity? Sure. Oh, not mystery soup. Not again. Ed turd. <laughs> Edvard. You're finished, brat. All right. So we've got a fire station here. This should. Allow my workers. I loathe the reek of lanolin. But if farmers' smocks are all you have. Yep, that's all we have. What if we can build? Oh, park. Okay. And desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Oh, good. Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? Yeah. Okay. Right, sweet sister. Right. Oh, so we're going to be able to put this spare tight room to rest. We'll put some nice trees once they come off the fishy. Tell me you've managed something. 
Yeah, sure, there's the smocks. Ba ba black sheep. Oh. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Great. <laughs> Okay, still plodding along. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Really? Okay. Oh, so it's a re revealed Seems we are not Bright alone Sands in our on the map. For Edvard. Man, this is a magnificent city. So this is sort of end, sort of late tier stuff. They're constructing some sort of cathedral there in the middle. Clay mines and stuff further back. So where is this riot by the look of it? Oh, there it is. There's the flash mob. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Oh, okay. Keep out. None of your business. See, this is the rioting mechanic, I imagine. We found four out of five. We just need one more. A life away from Edvard. There we go. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. That's right, I'm sure I can find some sort of transport if somewhere. If you me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Ah, oh, good on ya. Game saved. Peter Parker from the press. Jameson, whatever your bloody name is. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see further south here at the docks, the workers are on strike. And we have our ship. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Good. Come to my sanctuary. What? Has your left the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. If I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Poppy Jane. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crowd. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. And despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid. While this rat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shield license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letter press is up and running, the truth will come back to port, Edvard. For your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Okay, well, with our new workers from the other island, we need to upgrade the accommodation. The Indust Age of Industrialization. With several Play pigs and paved roads. Our publishing house is already well underway. Good, we've got a publishing house here. So we're not going to be able to upgrade everyone. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. That's fine. 
because we are still going to need farmers to Our tend section is to the, the fields. Right on his... We are fine-tuning well... the first issue as we speak. Good. So we'll keep a couple behind in the other class, as you could say. But then we'll build some more farmers as well. Port Town. So now we've unlocked the construction of Your a shipyard. Your rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Oh, Edvard. So we need to have four Clearly sails in Uncle's storage. Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. That's all right. Hurry, damn you! An explosion oh. in one of your factories. Where? Oh, an explosion in the lumber mill hut. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. It's okay, I'm spoiling my own. How do I release the fire station? Where are the volunteers? Oh no. So building's been destroyed. Oh, I, I, I think I've just out of range. Oh damn it. See how the whole world that's gonna be <laughs> See how the whole world burns! I thought he was about to say. I was like, man, you've changed character quite quick. Right, okay, I don't think there's much we really can do about this now. Oh, damn. I guess we just sort of have to wait for it to burn and then we'll just repair once it finally extinguishes itself. It's got to do with the roads, I think. I thought I... I haven't played this before. I'm going in blind. So I guess... Yeah, I, I thought there might have been a button to, like, release them. So they start screaming down the road. Fire intensity 25. Hopefully it doesn't spread too much. Yeah, maybe because it's... Yeah, so it's already destroyed one building. The lumberjack hut's engulfed. Who's going to eat all this? The fire left ruins behind. That's all right. Oh man, I got We got plenty of money to repair it. So let's go through some of the tabs that are currently available for your curiosity. We still need to get Edvard those sales. So let's have a look at the uh, trade routes. So here are trade routes that you can create. We've only got Edvard and the uh, the crown dude. Here are the alliances and tab, the world map as well. This is the world of Anno. Looks magnificent. Looks like Greenland or something up there. Snowy. Looks a lot more sort of jungleless and sort of the new world for the south. This is the old world. They have added the Americas and unique resources in this as well. So, to get these sales for Uncle Edvard, we need to construct a sheep farm and also a sail maker we've hit the tier two so we can have bricks we can make a church now paved roads we're sort of running out of room closer to the lumber mill and the forest so i think we need to push you further north to where the um the potato farms are yeah we should do that okay so we've already got the sheep farm down now and then we just need the adjacent ad adjacent <laughs> adjacent sails. I'm getting a little bit tongue tied. It's late here in Australia for me to be recording. My apologies. Okay, so that sheep farm's in fully operation. Look at their little sheepies, little lambies. And the sail maker can go further north. We're probably going to have to make a um, a small warehouse as well. Does it actually have to be adjacent to it? Can it be further down here? Uh, I think it's better off being further north. That'll be fine. And finish off some dirt roads there as well. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a sandbox. I'm kind of thinking about it, but it just sort of depends on the support. I've never uploaded Anna on the channel, so... I don't know how well it's going to be received. But we can make a city in my own image. We don't have to play by the rules to Edvard. And my sweet sister, of course. Okay, we finally got those sails for Edvard. Have you seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Uh, sure, I guess. I haven't seen any prisoners. Have they shipwrecked off the coast here somewhere, have they? Oh, there they are. Man, you picked a whack place to get shipwrecked. Okay, we're going to have to send a ship over there anyway at some point. 
Okay, Game cool. Save. We've got a ship now. We can send you up and over. Let's go for some exploring. Let's go on a quick expedition. The Independence flagship. Let's move you further down and around. So we need to pick up a group of castaways, prison transport, and the wreck as well. Let's push south. Let's go on a bit of exploration. I love the wake animation that the ships have. It just looks gorgeous, this game. I really enjoy Anno. It's a type of game where you sort of sit back, relax, have a sort of a hot chocolate, and just sort of chill. It's not sort of too stressing <laughs> like Total War sometimes <laughs> with constant battles and stuff. It's a nice, chill, relaxing city builder at the end of the day. Alright, let's see what these castaways have. Hopefully we don't have to give too much of it to Edvard. So what's this here? Okay. Oh, that's them! You're in, like, donuts. <laughs> Obviously don't have life jackets, of course. Alright, let's try and move back then. Saved! Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? What injustice? Edward Mr. Sterling? charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. Oh, okay. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Okay, so we have a dilemma event Open here. the letter. He's clearly up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's illegal to open up someone else's mail. Don't want USPS coming after me. <laughs> right, so we've got a couple of options here. We can open the letter, which I'm going to do. I'd rather listen to my best mate. Okay, does this change things? It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Oh, okay. Always trust the academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. Okay, that you sort of changed your he tune there, knows Hannah. How to silence his critics. Yeah, sure, let's um send them to court for a retrial, okay. So we still have a couple of options here. We could still go with Uncle Edvard and, and send them to prison. Then the debt's cleared. We can go to court appeal. So where do we need to go here? Yeah, let's go get this appeal done. I'm curious to see what the island penitentiary is sort of like. Wait until I'm... No, he didn't even, he didn't even guarantee... If he, if he guaranteed the debt to be wiped, I might have been more accompanying. So here is Wormways Island, Prison Island. Oh wow, it's even got some cool music. So we're going to go to High Clearance Hall, or is it Clarence? I'm not entirely sure. Let's drop off the castaways to allow a court... Retrial for my father Samuel. Samuel. I like the name Samuel more. What is it you are bringing? I'm bringing prisoners. Is he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. Good. Okay, good. We must be sh surely coming to the end of chapter one. We need to build some claim pits now to allow for our shipyard to be constructed so let's build that there so we're gonna have to build bridges I guess to get over the river at some point as well uh, that should be there I guess we just have to build paved roads all the way out there okay good so let's get that fully up and running and operational let's build a small harbor just to the left of this one uh, if we could squeeze it between the fishy the chippy. That would be perfect. Now I think let's push here. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Sure, why not? 
Let's take a photo. Oh, <laughs> we get to take a photo of our humble tower. That's awesome. Okay, we want to get a shot of the um, the docks. We also want to get a shot of the the gorgeous, beautiful mountain, snowy tops in the background. There we go. Something like that. Perfect. Let's submit the photo to the editor. A perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. History in the making. Great. Let's get those crates moved. Phoenix from the ashes. <laughs> the start of, if I dare presume, a most fruitful partnership. Ah. To be continued. Thanks for playing the Anno Campaign 1800. This is the end of chapter 1. Three more exciting chapters will be awaiting for you in the final game. Because I'm still playing an uh, alpha sort of... Not alpha build, sorry. We're playing an early access build. So some of the chapters are locked away. So unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching chapter 1 of the Anno 1800 gameplay here today. Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see further chapters here today on the channel, maybe you want to do some, me to do some other Anno-themed videos, and maybe even a sandbox. Got to say a huge thank you once again to Ubisoft Australia for providing me with the code of Anno1800 and making this video possible, possible along with a thank you to their community manager as well. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the steam group come and join the community on steam and on that note unfortunately i have to end the video here thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been simsy goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> That was probably the shot of the video there.